Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to switch your Apple ID right here on your App Store on your iPhone, iPad, and touch. It's exact same instructions for all of them. So, first of all, let's just go into your App Store. Once you guys open up your App Store, just go to the first option where it says today or games, doesn't really matter. As long as you guys see the top, you guys will see something up there on the top right hand corner. All right, it could be a picture, it could be anything that you guys chose from before. In this case, it's this black circle. So I'm going to click on it and you guys should see this, your Apple ID right here. Now from here, you guys can sign out and sign into another one. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to tap on sign out. Once you guys tap on sign out, you guys will see this Apple ID password and then you guys can click on sign in. So we're going to put that new one right now. Once we click on sign in, we're going to see our new Apple ID right here, whatever you guys wanted to sign into. However, I do want to mention for those of you who just bought an iPhone, iPad, Apple Touch, and you're just doing this, this would be wrong. You guys should change the Apple ID for the entire device, not just for your app store. So I just want to quickly show you how to do that. So you guys should go into settings. Under settings, you guys will go into general. Under general, you guys will see down here below, if you guys scroll all the way down, reset. On the reset, you guys will see erase all content in settings. And it's going to exactly do that. It's going to erase everything from within your iPhone, iPad, Apple Touch. And then you guys are going to be able to put in your own Apple ID and activate your iPhone, iPad, Apple Touch with your own Apple ID. That way, it's going to be 100% yours. Right now, the iPhone that you guys just bought, if you bought an older one or something like that, that has been used from before, it might have the previous Apple ID. And you guys do not want that. You guys want to have your own Apple ID and have this active with your own Apple ID. That way, it's 100% yours. If you guys just want to change the App Store ID right now, just to download some apps that maybe your friend has and you just want to download them on your phone, don't worry about it. Once you sign out from one into the other, it's not going to erase apps that you already have downloaded on your phone. It's going to keep them. You're just signing on, switching Apple IDs right here on your app store. It's no big deal. It's not going to do anything. However, just remember which one you're handling at the time. Obviously, apps that you've downloaded with a previous Apple ID, you might have to get rid of those. Or just remember that any apps that you download with this Apple ID that you're going to use right now, they have to stay with that Apple ID. So any updates that come with it, you guys have to sign in to this Apple ID in order to update them. Same goes with any apps that have been downloaded with another Apple ID. All right, so once you've done that, just click on done. And if it's another country that that Apple ID was created in, then your app store will change up country. So if you guys are in the US and this Apple ID is from, let's say, Jamaica, it's going to change that Apple store into that. All right, so I just want to mention that, although that's not the case for a lot of you. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.